So we are back with another travel vlog, but this one's a little bit different. What because... song is that? What song? It sounds like the start of a song. We are back. We are back. There's something. Anyway, it's right now. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, we're back. Um, but yeah, normally our travel vlogs, we go to places that are really vegan friendly and we just eat our way through all of the vegan options there. But this time we are on holiday with Matt's parents in a tiny little is it a village or a town? Barely a village. Yeah, it's a really small little area in Spain called Alfat. So I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. And it's not really like there's no vegan restaurants that we know of. There's just not really a lot for vegans. So I thought it would be fun to vlog it and just show you how you can make veganism work everywhere. It might not be the easiest thing in the world, but you can always find vegan options, even if you have to resort to salad and chips. Um, so we've already actually had quite a couple quite a couple, quite a few um, good vegan meals. So when we first got here, we had chips um, and a baguette with like salad basically. It's like a salad baguette and chips, which obviously isn't the most exciting thing, but it was fine. And that was kind of in the place where we're staying. And then yesterday we went to a restaurant called La Candela and we just found them like not, you know, specifically vegan or anything. Um, spoke to the staff in there, so I always have on my phone like something that says like that translates into the language of the country I'm in, vegan, and what that means like no milk, no meat, no eggs, no dairy, no fish. Um, 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 so I always just show that to the staff and yeah they showed us that they have vegetable tempura which is vegan, grilled vegetables and chips again. And then today for lunch we ate in a place called Neptunes. I'll link all of these um, below. I'll probably have a blog post too. And they did an amazing vegetarian paella, which Matt loved because he's been craving it since we went to Barcelona oh, yeah. like five years ago. And <laughs> it was really, really good. Um, so yeah, we've kind of we've made it work so far. And Exit we the roundabout onto A352. Well, and now we are on our way to Lidl, which is our nearest big supermarket, so we can do a big vegan shop and hopefully find some vegan burgers. Fingers crossed, that's what I'm really hoping for, um, because we're going to cook in a lot whilst we're here, which is also a really good way. Sorry, I'm going to rest my arm on the side, it's getting heavy. Um, which is also a really good way to make sure you can have vegan stuff because you can find like pasta and rice and vegetables everywhere and make things work. So we all look at the sun. There's like a huge, I don't even know what that is. What's in the road? Um, but yeah, I will show you what we get in Lidl and hopefully it will be yummy. How many are we actually got? Four? Four. So this is everything we got. We've got enough food to last us for the rest of the time, which is four days. And I think these are our best finds. We got this like vegetable and it looks like vegan cheese pizza, labeled vegan. These vegan bruschettas, which look amazing. And then we got vegan burgers. Um, so they're by a brand called My Best Veggie. They had lots of stuff, but most of it was vegetarian. These were the only vegan ones we could find. And then we're gonna have like mushrooms and avocado and tomatoes on toast. Salad to go with our burgers. Of course, we've got hummus. Uh, lots of fruit, <laughs> Matt's crisp, burger buns. Um, these are the little own brand Cocoa Pops, which are apparently vegan. And um, we also found some of these like Oreo lookalikes. And for all of the stuff like this, we kind of just checked the label and then translated any of the allergens to make sure that the stuff was vegan. Oh, and I'm going to make some potatoes bread after these. So now I'm going to put one of each of these in the oven because they look amazing and I am starving. <laughs>
it's the last day of our holiday now. We've had some good meals, haven't we? Yeah, really nice. It's actually been really easy. We've not been to a single place where we've found something that we can't eat, which has been nice. And veggie paella. Oh yeah, you got your veggie paella. Oh, that was like on the first day, wasn't it? Or second. second day. Um, but now we're about to have our last meal of the Verdura pizza and what's this one? The bruschetta which are both really good. So these we got two of each of these. Which one's your favourite? Uh, to us, I really like them. I like them both, but I think the bruschetta is my favourite. But they're quite nice together. So in the restaurant where we're staying, that's probably the only place that we haven't had like a proper meal. They only do a vegan um, baguette, and it's basically just a baguette with like lettuce, onion, and garlic in it. So we are going to cook these pizzas and then bring them up and sit with everyone and eat them outside. So, I don't know how good this video will have been, hopefully it was useful, but yeah, I think the aim was just to show ourselves and everyone that you can be vegan anywhere. And we so, are in the middle of nowhere really. Yeah, we are, it's literally, I don't know if you can even see out of that window. In the mountains. No, you can't. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, it's literally up in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. And we found amazing vegan food.